As usual, I recommend you first draw a diagram corresponding to the scenario that includes everything we know about the situation. So I tried to do that here on the bottom and add all the values that we know, even the frequency of the source. Then, from notes 8, uh, as seen in the phasor plots of the positive and negative traveling voltages, the voltage max we get occurs when the phasors are aligned. So we get V max is equal to V naught plus times 1 plus the voltage reflection coefficient at the load, and that's it. And the voltage minimum occurs similarly when they're anti-parallel. This means that if we can determine V naught plus and also the reflection coefficient at the load, then we can determine the voltage max and min values. So let's first look at the reflection coefficient at the load. This is straightforward because from the diagram we know that the load impedance is 70 ohms, characteristic impedance is 50, so we can plug that in and get 0.17. So that is the voltage reflection coefficient at the load. But how can we obtain V naught plus? 